All right, seems like a good spot. Hi, I'm Kristen Bell. Motherhood can feel isolating. So finding a mom friend is everything. It's like finding the peanut butter to your jelly. It's like being lost at sea and spotting a lighthouse. Here is one of my lighthouses, ladies and gentlemen, Melissa McCarthy. Hi, what are the odds that you're here? You were just strolling down the street. I had some business and I thought that looks like K-Bell. In one of my makeshift living rooms. She loves to set up a last minute living room. It's an adorable quirk. To all your moms out there, you're doing it right. You're a mom of two. I am a mom of and two. And I know that because I know your children. Yes, you do. Do you remember where you conceived your children? First one. Let's say it at the same time. Okay. 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 One, two, three. A, a friend's lazy house. Lazy River, Six Flags, Gurney, Illinois. Whoa. The Lazy River. I wanted my kids to be strong swimmers. So I thought, this is the moment. One of the things that I find most difficult about being a parent is the sleep deprivation. Yes. Because I have some statistics here. Did you know lack of sleep affects the body the same way drinking alcohol does? 17 hours without sleep. I get louder. I think my jokes land more, and they don't. You're at a, it's basically the equivalent of a 0 .05 alcohol content. So our normal level of tired means we shouldn't be driving? Correct. Probably shouldn't be uh, using the Vitamix. Especially yeah. not in the car. No. <laughs> God, not in the car. No. I love to Vitamix in my car. <laughs> You gotta get sleep. It affects three cognitive functions. Oh. Uh, reaction what? times. What? Right? I would have oh. I would have knocked you out cold. Oh. Our ability to multitask. This is how we do it. I seem to be breastfeeding at the same time. No, no. You can do anything. Multi while you talk about multitasking. I don't know if I buy your story about it. I can't multitask. Well, oh. this is Short-term memory. What? Yep. Can even impair the ability to build new memories. That's just sad. I don't ever want to hear that again, yeah. but I'll, I won't remember it anyway, so let's just thank you. Have you ever pretended to sleep so that Ben would have to get up with the kids? No. Just You're saying no, but you did, your face did like a... I've done it a lot. <sighs> When they were really little, I think it was always a thing of like, it was a sleep off. We were like, I'm, I'm more asleep than you are. Yeah. And you just really go frozen. You're like. Yeah. And then you'd be listening for the other one's breath. And you're like, that's not a sleeping breath pattern. We've gotten to the point where now we, it's like almost like a scoreboard. And we'll just, he'll just punch me and tell me to get out of the bed or I'll just punch him <laughs> and tell him. Since whoever bed. punches first yeah, wins? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh, I can yeah. try that. Having two daughters, especially that are as self-assured as your daughters, what's the worst thing they've ever said to you? I recently got rid of all the slime in the house. They make their own slime. Oh. And we got rid of it all. And then Vivi, who is the oldest one, as you know, was like, at right, but right before she was like, I tucked her in, she was going to bed and said, is everything okay? She goes, I just thought, I just thought that was really harsh today. I thought it was too harsh. And then Georgie, like, like something out of a horror movie was just beside me. She's like, <laughs> then I realized their last thought for the night was like, yeah. that I was like, you know, then gonna get on my broom and fly down the hallway. I was like, oh, they'll fix it in therapy. <laughs> my um, youngest daughter is um, also very self-assured and, and feral. And she <laughs> will often come up to me and uh, with just a clenched fist, which is holding what I can only assume an invisible knife. It and just seems say, like the right hand grip. I don't like you. And then just walk away. Does she have a big neck tattoo? I mean, one day she'll kill me in my sleep, but I, we're not there yet, so I'm not worried about it. We're not, guys, it. that's a good 10 years away. Um, what's the proudest moment you've ever had as a mom? I think just seeing that, that they really are they're confident about themselves and like they're they seem they seem really solid in their shoes. There's yeah. not a there's not a need to be like I must be with the group. They're not lemmings. No. And Georgie is particularly self-assured because I remember you told me a story about you were at a restaurant once and she was preoccupied with the concept of death. Vivian, my old, oldest one, things like that she doesn't want to talk yeah. about and Georgie's just like we're all going to die. 
we're all gonna die. And so we were in there and she's like, you're gonna die. And Vivi's like, no, no, don't talk about it. And she's like, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. And then she pointed at the poor waitress and goes, she's definitely gonna die. <laughs> We have a grandparent that is passing away right now, and my five-year-old said to me, when, when Papa dies, do I need to bring my gardening tools? Because I have a shovel. And she said, where do we do it? Like on the side of the house? She literally was like, so I guess we do it? Ready to dig her grandfather's grave. I was, I was. Fact, she wasn't upset and just like, okay, this happens. It means like you must have talked to her. Like we talk a lot about death, but uh, she apparently just goes right to, well, let's get through it together. No. Or she just loves to bury stuff. Melissa, I'm grateful for you. Oh! I'm grateful for our friendship. Are we breaking up? But I'm really thankful that you came to do some mom's planning with us Thank today. Thank you. You're living here now, right? Yeah.